I smell the red skin songbird in New York City, Evangeline Einstein. I'll get right into my writing and explain what I've been decoding. Nacking Cole song, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. Uh, something about that wonderful smile. Are you happy, Mona Lisa? And, and that. So then I decoded Mona Lisa. It's a painting in the Louvre of a lady barely smiling. No teeth showing. Okay. So Mona, M ordered in A. Okay. M ordered in A. M N A. Man. A man. Mona Lisa is a man. Okay. Now Lisa. The Wisa. I Wisa. I uh, Lisa Stevie Wonder Issa Gay I W S A Stevie Wonder is gay. Okay, so I mean I've been talking about the fact that most of the population is women because when you have illegal births, I mean illegal sex the semen will not fertilize an egg, the egg. So the man ejaculates piss, not semen. So the baby is not a man. He has no testosterone, even if he has a penis and testicles. Okay, so there are just so many. I, you know, my favorite actor in the world, Will Smith, is a girl in that he has no, he, he was, his egg, the egg was not fertilized. And um, he is very close to me. He's a member of the original first family of creation. He was Seth. Okay. And, and we all know he's a legend and he's perfect. Um, body, body, he's a girl. Okay. And he's my son. And I love him dearly. And it hurt, broke my heart to find that out. Okay, so see, I'll just share my notes with you. We are guests in Adam's creation. Adam is an ape, okay? So before we take an attitude, just remember, we are guests in his creation. He created himself. He began creation by willing himself alive, all right? It wouldn't be... Oh, James Brown, Seal, they say it's a man's world. But it wouldn't be nothing without a woman or a girl. And, of course, that's true. So, um, the, the RN, indirectly, by being the muse, music causes a lot. Oh, I'm pregnant, and with the RN, is a woman and a man, Sharon Singh. And I just said that uh, she, the registered nurse, is, uh, oh, this is me. When I came here from the sun on a mission like an RN to help, to heal, and I'm still on a mission to heal, uh, I was, uh, I began as a muse, and then muse comes from the word music, so I'm music. Michael Bublé, what's that say? Be returns. Oh, this was on, on Twitter. Not Twitter, the trending Google. Michael Bublé returns. Michael Bublé's entire life changed in an instant. Okay, that's what that said. And then I added this part. When Dr. Santa Claus, C.N., Cross it, cross T.I. clause, the pregnant pause, you were Mrs. Claus. I was Mrs. Santa Claus at one time. Song, I saw Mommy kissing Santa. I was Mommy, Ami, you were Santa Claus, when you were Santa Claus. That's Michael Spear, my second husband. 1979, I was charming. 
I was charming, a charming child. You were Santa Claus. Charan Singh was a mystic in India that I went to see in 1979. And he was, uh, he was charmed by me. And he gave me his lips. He presented his lips to me and I couldn't kiss them because I just never heard of anybody kissing God. And I was turned off of kissing in the first place. So I said I wouldn't kiss, I didn't kiss, no, I didn't like spit. I wouldn't kiss, I didn't like spit. And, I'm um, Anne, I hadn't been given a ring song, Janice Ian, at 17. If you didn't hear that song, it's from the 60s. I think you really should hear it. I mean, music is timeless. You can't say, well, that was the 60s, or that was the 50s, or that was, it's timeless. Because time is a man-made construct in the first place, so everything doesn't happen at once. Scariest moment ever. Eve, I, energy horror. I'm the energy of Eve, the first woman. Raped by my sister at three. Scariest moment ever. Raped by my sister at three. A bucket of spit into my mouth um, from my daddy at age six. Okay, these are scary moments. Oh, God. And, and they also turned me off of kissing and sex and everything. Adam inherits Govinda, the father. Everything. His title, father, capitalist, sat and guru, sat guru, to see and embody truth from the souls, the roots of the family tree. Okay, so let me go back up here. Here's something in here. What, uh, what is this? Adam inherits his son who, came, who committed suicide. Okay, what happened was, Govinda Singh is Adam's son, Cain, and my son. Adam and Eve had a son named Cain. His name is now Govinda Singh. Govinda Singh, uh, Adam was an ape. Adam mistreated Eve, who was a beam of light, who came to help him when he was screaming in the night because he was alone. She came to help him not be alone, and he was an ape. He didn't know how to treat a beam of light, so he raped her and he, you know, he fucked her and he beat her and he squeezed her too hard and he just didn't really know how to handle her. And uh, she, she didn't know he was an ape when she heard him calling. She, she thought it was just, you know, a soul. Uh, you know, somebody she, uh, at, at her level or something. She didn't know she was in danger. But she, she her sympathetic nature was so intense. She left the the uh, ocean of bliss, the ocean of light, and came all this way 340 million miles from the sun to help Adam. Okay, I'm bringing you up to date here. All right, so then, so like I said, Adam treated uh, Eve very badly by today's standards. He was just being himself an uncivilized ape because he would created himself too soon before he became a man. A man does not beat a woman. A man does not squeeze a woman because a man sees that a woman is like a flower and you don't crush flowers. You admire them and water them. Okay, so Cain, when he became of age, you know, like 17, he started healing his mother. He started trying to heal her. You know, kissing her, hugging her, fucking her, just trying to make her feel worthy and happy and uh, loved. Okay, when, and he didn't think it was wrong. It was his mother. She was tugging at his heartstrings, just like Adam had tugged at his mother's heartstrings. He was being a protective man because he was half ape, but he was also half light, so he had a heart. 
All right, so then when Adam found out that Cain had been making out with Eve, he went crazy and odd than he had already been and um, broke his arms. And I told the story many times. Uh, so what is my point? My, my point is, um, you know, Cain took it upon himself to try to heal his mother. So he's been the architect of a new world order so his mother can have a lovely place to live on the earth, okay? Because she can't go back to the... She can't go back to the ocean of light. There's nobody to carry her back to. Actually, Charon Singh was going to take her back to the ocean of light. And that day, he was, she was supposed to kiss him. And he was supposed to, that was his authorization, to go with her to the ocean of light. Which is like a suicide thing. Because all they do in the ocean of light is be high. They call it bliss. They just are in bliss and all the time. There is no individuality. There is no self. There is no name. There is no fame. There is no game. There is no children. There's nothing but being high all the time. There are those people on this earth who want to go back to the ocean of light and live like that. You can't just go back. You have to find a perfect living master because you have to be perfect to go back. And they want, there are those people here who want to um, see their fools because they, they know that the son, which is Eve's father, is keeping this place lit up because of Eve. Because he wants her to have this physicalized experience. And so they want, they're trying to drive Eve crazy and drive her back to the ocean of light of bliss so that the so that so they can go back cuz cuz they think that when the sun withdraws his light from the earth and if she leaves that's what he's going to do he's not going to do all his work for nothing for no reason he does it for love you wonder why the sun shines all the time for love, because of his daughter Eve. He loved his daughter Eve, you get it? He's not, he's not shining for no reason. Okay, and the moon is Eve, so, so yeah, also projection. And so is Venus, the evening star. So that's, that's why he's um, working all the time. So, like I said, there are those people who want a shortcut, they're lazy. They don't want to become perfect and, and find a perfect living master and go back to the ocean of life the legal way. It's like the people busting, crashing through the gates of heaven trying to get into America. They don't want to go to Ellis Island or wherever you go to start the process to become citizens. They want a shortcut. They're lazy and they have no integrity and no honor. You know, they want to break the rules and just uh, cause chaos. So it's the same thing here. These people want, it's a duality here. So the people on the earth who want to go back to the ocean of light are doing it the right way. They're called Sasangis. Okay, so like I said, Cain for billions of years has been um, working with Einstein to create a plan, a perfect plan to make this a wonderful land for Eve until she can go back home to the ocean of light okay so so he had we had judgment day the time has come for this to um, be brought about this revolution so we had judgment day and uh, everybody was being told who they are and what their roles are and what price they have to pay and all of that so Eve had one more thing to do she and Cain have had a wonderful close relationship for about a year. They're in different domains. He's in heaven, she's in hell. So it was a spiritual relationship. But that's very powerful. It can be very powerful. The invisible is more powerful than the visible, as a matter of fact. So, but they wanted to have, well, he did. Cain wanted to see her. So, he, so they told her that, um, Gurudasingh, who was uh, uh, 
living master of all these Sasanias who want to go back to those times, is coming in North Carolina. So she got very excited, and um, he didn't tell her he was coming for her, but, you know. And she has no ego. She has no self-esteem. So she certainly didn't think he was coming just to see her. So then, so then what happened? Uh, she got the money. She on a bus in twelve hours. Um, she's been homeless, so she has no teeth. She's a mess. She's a wreck. She's been homeless, I guess. So when she got to the Queens, Nancy, her friend of forty years, it was a little distant, but it's okay. She didn't take it to heart. Oh, I should say that Corinda Singh got inside his mother Eve so that he could protect her because people have been trying to drive her crazy. They've been trying to drive her to desperation so she'll go back to the ocean of light, which she's working on anyway. Okay, so uh she couldn't uh, so she told her friend Mary Panama who is the guardian angel, you know, and she confides in her. She told her I'm going to get a hug from Govinda Singh. I want a hug. So so she got to Jersey. Nancy drove them to Jersey where they were going to get the bus to North Carolina. She saw some of her friends, Daffy, Norma, Susan. Nobody spoke to her that she knew. Because, like I said, she looked terrible. You know. Never mind, she's known them 40 years. So, um, she goes on the bus, it's hell, you know, riding 12 hours is hell on a bus. She was already in hell anyway. She'd been in hell since she was five years old, and the preacher screamed, riding in hell for eternity. So her imagination went to hell for eternity and took her with it. So she'd been in hell all this time. She didn't realize that happened to her till later when she was doing talking, she had therapy. And she said, oh my God, I actually went to hell and I'm still in hell. So Gorinda's trying to get her out of hell. So she got to North Carolina, same thing. You know, people snubbed her, nobody said a word to her. And at one point she was sitting with Nancy and Manira came over. Manira's from Lebanon. She married to a musician, uh, what's his name, whatever his name is. And she was telling Nancy, um... They said you could sit in the front if you rode the bus here. So then she walked away, and, and then um, I said to Nancy, do you think we should, um, I should try to sit in the front? So then Nancy asked Linda Zadelli, the saber dog, the volunteer, usher. She said, should we um, try to sit in the front? You know, we came on the bus, Linda Zadelli. Act like she didn't have a voice. She said not a word. She made no expression. It was a weird, it was a very weird thing. So then Fountain Jr. came over. He works with Baba G very closely. As you know, so so I guess he's proud of her. So she had introduced Fountain Jr. to the path in the first place. And James Golden, Fountain's friend. And Gary Bird, the friend of them. So she said to the Fountain, I have a package for Baba G. It's a small package. I would like you to give it to him. So Fountain said, Well, if I give it to you, I'll have to do it for everybody. And she's like, Shallow, what the fuck? This is Fountain talking to me like this? And I know in 40 years what's going on. You know, she's not realizing these people are having reaction to her. Because she loves them, and she presumed they love her. She, you know, she, she don't get it. You know? She's a child. Gurinder Singh told her, you're a child. And she said, a child? What? And that song about her, Wildflower, says, let her dream, because she's a child. You know? And Gurinder Singh said, you're trusting. That's what I mean. I am the, I'm the little kid that said, the king has no clothes on. You know, I can see, and I say what I see, but sometimes I don't see, and I didn't see where these people were coming from. I did feel alone in this crowd, 
Okay, so Fountain wouldn't take the package. And then when Sasan was over, you know, he made up excuses. You know, I, I want to I'll make sure, uh, you know, your package receives the care it deserves. And I mean, I, what is this bullshit he's talking? I don't understand. I don't know who this is. So I was walking out and I saw Fountain's wife. So I said to her, uh, could you give this to Fountain so he can give it to Baba Jean? So she said, her name is Karen. Does he know about this? And I said, yes, I'll talk to him about this. So I gave it to her and left. All right, and then when later Baba G, I talked to him, he said, I'm not going to service those people anymore. I am going back to the ocean of light. I can't stomach it here that they would treat you like that. They know you 40 years. What could, they're supposed to be loving people and they wouldn't even give you a hug. If they would give you a hug, then I could give you a hug. That was what you wanted. I hadn't told him I wanted a hug. He knows everything. So he was really, I never saw him so upset. And he closed the fountain, the fountain, the ocean of light. He's not taking those people back. And he's going back. Now that was what he said. But then, tonight I spoke to him. And I said to him, because I spoke to Adam, has been contacting me four times. He asked me to marry him. And Adam is Michael Bublé, and he's been contacting me. He said for billions of years they won't let him get through to me, and he's been trying to get back to me. So he and I had a nice conversation, because Baba G is Adam's son. And the first thing he said to me, he wants, he's upset, or somebody told me, he's upset that his family is broken apart. He wants his family back together, which means he wants Adam and Eve back together. At the same time, he's in love with Eve. So he's got a real, and at the same time, he feels responsible for her suffering these billions of years of being in hell. So he's got a heavy burden. And when, he, and when he thought he was born to show that you can go from nothing and, and become an advanced soul, when those, and, and Eve was the first, this is very complicated, Eve was the very first female Jesus Christ energy. But nobody told Eve. Okay, she asked uh, to be Jesus Christ energy because she wanted the love of Brother Wright, her uncle. But nobody said, okay, you got it. You know, so she didn't know. She didn't know that she had an inordinate amount of pain in her life because she was carrying the cross. See, so they gave her the energy she wanted, which was that of the cross, which is what is Jesus Christ, which is total suffering at all times, although Jesus Christ only suffered about, what, a couple of days on the cross. But really... He's been taking various forms and continuing to suffer and continuing to be a martyr, saving people, helping people, vibrating good love for people, and taking people, you know, just saints. They just, they just help the society, like Mother Teresa's a saint, and she helped the lepers, okay? She was reborn to Princess Kate and Prince, Prince William, so she's going to get her reward. Baba, G um, Jesus Christ, uh, Einstein has never gotten this reward because he doesn't know that he's Einstein. He doesn't know that he's Jesus Christ. He doesn't know that he's gu he's not guilty of anything. He and Cain are carrying guilt, so they're not getting rewards because you only get rewards if you think you're good. Wow, this is a complicated story. Okay, so, uh, like I said, okay, so Baba G is pissed, and he's disheartened, and all this work he's been doing, because he was different forms, singing to Eve to keep her spirits up. He was um, Barry White, he was Frank Zappa, he was uh, Paul McCartney projected, he was uh, D Michael Bolton, he was uh, Nat King Cole, Dean Martin, um... Uh, Luther Vandross. See, he was all these forms 
singing love songs to Eve so she would feel loved, and it worked. I should tell people, I was Cinderella, but I, but I, music got me through childhood, you know. Uh, okay, so there we are. So what happened is, Baba G, I asked him, I said to him, I can relieve you of your guilt so you don't feel so burdened. And he said, what? And I said, talk and share is a cure for madness. It's a cure for what ails them mentally. And so I have an appointment tomorrow to do, because uh, he agreed to do it. He said, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to go back to the ocean of light and leave you. I love you. He never says I love you. He thinks that's cheap. Uh, you have to show you love people. You don't tell them. But he did say it, and I was glad he said it. And so he's gonna give he's gonna give me a chance to uh, relieve him because he's suffering greatly because he's inside me in my pineal gland. You hear about Hillary Clinton eating people uh, so they could eat a pineal gland because she wants that that she wants that um, spirituality that's up there. So the shortcuts, lazy, slovering people, short they're trying to be slick. So, um, so everything I feel, he feels. So when they were rejecting me in North Carolina and making me feel like dirt and making me feel unloved, he was feeling the same feelings. And he couldn't bear it because he's so good. And it was such an injustice. You know, it wasn't a balance in his system. So it was, it was just too painful. Okay, so we're going to do talking share tomorrow at 3 o'clock with Baba G, which is a therapy. I was Freud. I was called a uh, Jung's wife. I was, uh, what's it, Fritz Pearl, the psychiatrist. So I created a psychotherapy that works this life using my past experience, like understand about the unconscious with Freud, understand you got to stay in the moment with pearls, like that. Okay. So, and then also Michael Bublé is going to try to get his viciousness toward Eve as a habit by now. He's going to try and get rid of Doug by letting me do talk and share with him. So I am amazed. I've been amazed at this whole thing. Charon Singh said, you cannot imagine this path. <laughs> and he was so right. Every day is a new discovery. But, I, but this is the best news I've ever had. You know, that I have an opportunity to relieve Cain of his guilt because he was only trying to help his mother and he put that in the culture that men try to help women because they copied him but they didn't do it the way he did it you know they're trying to help him other ways okay so uh, Wilbur Wright who was brother Wright was King Arthur he invented chivalry he tried to help women too by being polite and uh, rescuing them and Guru Nanak who was me created Sikhism where we try to help all people, you know, uh, okay, the Sikhs are the normal people in the world. All right, so this is all, this is, I had other things to tell you. Let me see what else. It's time to go almost. I got two or three more minutes. What is this? I said we were guests. Okay, I said this. Bubble songs. I'm in to heal. Colored. Sing, Gwenda Sing, Fountain, Brown, Bang, Apes, Ma Red Skin, Mother Son. These are my James Madison. These are men. Okay, James Madison is a man. Most of these people are women. Talking share meetings. Marilyn Monroe, that was me. She was a woman. Winners. What does that mean? I won so Melanie Lynn wandered in. Okay, this is just my notes. All right, this is enough for now. It's Michelle Bird's song, Miles Red Skin Song Bird, uh, Vangeline Einstein. We're gonna. I'm all for truth. I'm releasing truth. This is uh, the new world order has begun. The holy royal family. Some of them are Dr. Ben Carson, uh, Dr. Mehmet Oz is a member of the holy royal family. So is Joel Osteen, who was Moses. Dr. Oz was St. Matthew. Dr. Ben Carson was uh, St. Luke. Uh, Will Smith was St. Thomas and Thomas of Aquinas. He's a member of the Holy Rose. Uh, Milo uh, is a member. Okay, so I can't just name them all at once. This, wow! Okay. 
later. Out of New York. Bye.